Well hello guys and girls, I hope you're doing well. We're back once again for a Team of the Week review. Before we even get into this guys, I just want to alert you to a couple of videos that are going to be coming in the next day or so. Well, after this video guys, there's going to be a controller review. Yes, I do have a new controller. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. For those of you that didn't see it on Twitter, I definitely suggest you check it out when I upload the video. It should be here just before the England game, so between half seven and eight probably. Um, so definitely check that out if you've watched this one first. And I want to alert you to tomorrow's videos guys. It's going to be a double header of Stats Attack. I haven't been able to bring it these last couple of days. It's going to be a double header. It's going to be one of the old series, one of the new one. It's exactly the same team, but it's going to be a new set of rules, guys. Uh, the new set of rules really should spice it up, really should mean that the defenders get more recognition than the strikers, uh, therefore making the series a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. So uh, we'll start off with Team of the Week. Uh, up, up top, Luis Fabiano, second in form of the game, guys. Four-star skills on him, as everyone knows. 76 in pace, 86 in shooting, with 82 in dribbling and 90 in heading. This guy is fantastic in real life. I've watched him, or I watched him a lot when he was over in uh, La Liga. El, uh, yeah, La Liga. Liga PBVA is what I was going to say, but La Liga, I call it. Uh, fantastic over there before he obviously moved to the Liga de Brazil. Seems to be doing wonderful things. You know, he's had a couple of informs, uh, just... What can you say, you know? And then behind him, we've got Benitez here. Benitez is his second in form yet again, guys. Another four-star skiller as a striker this week. So they are giving these four-star skillers some, some uh, you know, goodness. Giving them to you guys to use. And hopefully that will help some of you out who do like your skills. Me, personally, I'm not a skiller, as many of you know. But uh, 94 in pace. 78 in shooting, 80 in passing, 86 in dribbling. The pace is fantastic, guys. If his shooting was higher, I think it'd be even more valuable. Obviously, he plays in the Mexican League, I believe he does. Um, so he's not going to be so valuable. Next thing, we've got Borges. I guess that's how you say it, or Borges. I don't, I don't know if you say the G or not. We've got 78 in pace, 86 in shooting, 82 in dribbling, with 86 in heading. This guy's got three star skills, so again, it's got to, you know, it's something a little bit extra for you. And then behind him, you've got Montilio. I, mean, I think, oh god, I'm so bad. Second in form for this dude, three star skills as well, guys. So as I mentioned before, the skillers really are coming out this week, which is nice to see. Uh, some different players, although they've got a second in form, you know, it's good to see some different players. 85 in pace, 87 in shooting, 85 in passing, with 88 in dribbling. This is a very, very good central attacking mid, guys, I must say. Being Argentinian, you know, you could play him behind Tevez if you wanted. Um, just a fantastic little player. Then you've got Barrera. Uh, 69 in pace isn't fantastic, but 75 shooting, 81 in passing with 73 in dribbling. He's, he's a so-so card. To be honest, I'm not blown away by his stats, but nonetheless, it's, you know, it's a bit different. It's a silver. There's a lot of silvers this week, which is great. I love to open the silver pack, so hopefully I'll get a couple of these. Uh, then the certain defensive mid, 68 in pace with 74 in defending, 79 in heading. Not bad stats yet again, but could be improved if I'm being honest with you. Then the final midfielder of the week, uh, Ekram. 75 in pace, 80 in passing, 77 in dribbling, 70 defending. Uh, again, could be better, could be worse, but you're not going to expect the best stats ever with a silver player unless you're looking at people like uh, Danilinho or Mike Onliete. But then again, their price reflects how good they are. Um, and they're not going to bring those out at this time of the year because the leagues that they can choose from are so sparse that they're just having to bring them out. Um, I'm surprised they are still bringing them out on one side of the coin. I think just save them up and then do one big one. But then on another one, I'm thinking no one would buy packs if there was no team of the week. So the first left back um, has some good defending and heading stats. 75 defending and 80 in heading, although the pace is, is very slow. So I don't see him being um, that good. Another inform from Anzi there. And then you've got Ayala. 65 pace for a centre-back is really not that great at this time. Pace is the the key, it seems, in FIFA 12. Not so important in FIFA 11, but FIFA 12, pace is the key. The amount of pace teams I've come up against, or just people that have uh, pace as strikers. So you do need people like Win in defence, just to combat those strikers. But 64 in pace, 18 defending, 70 in heading. So the, the defensive side of him is very good. And then you've got Crescito. 85 in pace is good, 85 in passing is good, 83 defending and 73 heading. So he is a pretty good little left back. Is that in the Russian League again? Uh, can someone maybe tell me down below how many informs there are from the Russian League this year? I know it's a fantastic league, but there's so, so many of them. It's ridiculous. And then we'll finally go on to the bench. Just do a quick run through of these. Um, not a bad little keeper, actually. All the stats are matter in the 70s or the 80s there. Uh, McMillan. Uh, so, so. Um... 30 dribbling is not a great stat, but I suppose he is a centre-back at the end of the day. Uh, another centre-mid who I'm not too sure about. Is this from Ivory Coast? Yeah. Yappy Yappo. I know him, and I don't know why. Has this guy got some skill moves, guys? I think he has got skill moves. But those are some good stats, actually, for a centre-mid. Uh, you could put him up to a centre-attacking mid. You know, he, he's on he's on the cusp of of uh, having good pace, especially with the 80 dribbling as well. He's, he's a good little player. 
Um, same as this guy, everything in the 70s really, I mean, you can't ask for anything else. Uh, Kovac, Kovac, Kovac is, I guess, I, I, I don't know. 80 shooting is pretty good, pace is low. Uh, then finally this guy, 59 shooting on an uninformed striker is not great. But guys, let me know what you think about this team of the week. Let me know who you want and why. And of course, hopefully I'll see you at the controller review a little bit later today. Uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, please do. Hopefully you're enjoying the content, guys. I really am trying to bring you the best that I can bring at the moment. So guys, have a good day. Until next time, I'll speak to you all soon.